everyone. Today we're going to learn about Albrecht Dürer. Dürer was a German painter, printmaker, and mathematician from Nuremberg. Um, when he drew in 1515 a rhinoceros, he had never actually seen one, and he worked from a description to draw it. And it's super remarkable because it's very, very detailed and has lots and lots of pattern in it. Okay, so we're going to be working in the style of um, Albert Durer um, today to do um, super patterned fish. Now I know lots of you have probably seen fish before, but um, we're going to be pretending that we're working from a description of a ginormous fish. Look how big that fish is going to be. Okay, so we're going to start by drawing our fish. Okay, then we're going to outline it with marker. Then we're going to fill it with line pattern. And the line pattern that we're going to be thinking about are straight lines, curved lines, wavy lines, zigzag lines, dotted lines, spiral lines, scalloped lines, dashed lines, and then the castle or zipper line. Once we've used those nine lines at least one time in our picture, then you can start to invent things. No words, letters, or numbers, please, but here I used smiley and frowny faces, lots of different sort of emoji faces. Here I used some stars. Here I used some spirals. Here I used some circles. So once you've used your um, line patterns one time in your fish, you can go ahead and start um, making up your own patterns. Then we're going to add some water in the background and we're going to think about three or four little sea creatures. So um, I put a little snail here, I put some rocks on the bottom, um, I put waves in the background, okay, for our water. Um, and then I'm going to add a jellyfish and a sea star um, for other things that could be in the water with our big fish, okay. All right, um, I also put some seaweed in this one in the background, okay, to make the background interesting too. All right, so, um, and then after that, we're gonna add lots and lots of wonderful color to our fish. So let's get started. Today, we're gonna be holding our picture in the hamburger or sideways position, okay? Um, I'm gonna be drawing with some crayon just so you can see. Um, we're going to start with an oval that almost fills that whole page, okay? So you want it to be nice and big, but you do want to save room for a nice tail at the back. Um, you do not have to make a triangular tail like in this one I made a more curvy tail. Um, in this one I made sort of a half oval long flat tail. So you think about what kind of tail you would like to have. Then I would like you to have at least one fin on the top and at least one fin on the bottom. Think about what kind of fin you would like to have. Um, if you want to have the mouth open with some teeth, please remember nothing is getting eaten and no one's getting hurt, okay? But yes, you can draw some teeth for your fish. Then you're gonna want your fish to have a great big eye. Remember, today is all about big, okay? Um, and then we're gonna give it a little dorsal fin in the inside like that, okay? And then I want you to divide your fish. Remember there's nine lines, so you want at least nine spaces and maybe more so that you can invent some patterns of your own. So right now I have one, two, three, four, five, six spaces, okay? So I'm gonna add some lines to the tail like this to give me more spaces and to the fins to give me more spaces, and maybe to this fin as well. And then I can even count them just to see how many I have. I'm also gonna divide the face from the body of my fish, again, because I want lots of spaces for different patterns. Then I'm gonna use my pencil lightly to write in the numbers, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, um, eight for the eye, nine, 10, 11 in the top fin, 12, 13, 14, 15 in the tail, and then 16, 17, 18. So I have plenty of room for lots and lots of patterns, lots of lines, lots of fun um, putting things in there. Um, and then I wanna think about either rocks 
or something on the bottom. Um, you could just as easily curve the sand in. You decide what you want to do, whether you want to have rocks or sand or a combination of both like Mrs. N did. Let's have some seaweed, okay? Doesn't have to be a ton, all right? And then we talked about, let's try and have at least um, three other things in around our big fish. So I'm gonna do a jellyfish up here. I'm gonna put a big snail down here, okay? And then um, I think I'll put a little sea star over here. Okay, then comes the time when you want to be thinking about your lines um, and adding line patterns in, okay? So I'm gonna just start with zigzag here and work my way through all the line patterns. And then when we're done filling the whole thing with those line patterns, you can um, make up some patterns of your own and start adding those to fill the other spaces. Then um, I'd like you to outline everything with black. Okay, um, if your black marker is not working well, use the black crayon that should be in your kit. And then um, I would like you to use lots and lots of color. Make it super colorful. Um, you can use both the markers and the crayons that are in your kit. Um, but in this one too, let's try and create waves in the background so you can have lots of different colors in the water. Um, or if you don't wanna do that, you could use the side of a cray peeled crayon. Um, there will be blue on your teacher's desk. Um, peeled sideways crayons so that you can make the water blue in the back, okay? So use lots of color, use lots of pattern, use lots of different lines, and be creative and have fun. Bye!